I don't know that I've ever done a vlog like this in like a roommate setting where my roommates are around. All right, let's all do this together, guys. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday to encourage and inspire you to create the life that you want to live. This week I am in La Mia, Greece and I want to tell you how it is different than Athens, Greece. First of all, the very obvious things is Athens is a city, it's got a metro, it's got lots of people, it's got lots of things going on. La Mia is what I would prefer. Hot springs that the camp is right next to and there's waterfall. Well, would you consider that a waterfall? The hot springs kind of make a waterfall. In Europe and Greece, People are not super stoked about the whole refugee situation. When I'm in La Mia, which is not Athens, and it's kind of weird that a foreigner's here, and people are asking me, oh, why are you in La Mia? I'm staying with a friend. Like, I have a friend from La Mia that I'm just hanging out with. Oh, that's really cool. And then when I meet someone on the bus, and I'm headed to the hot spot, which is what they call the hot springs, where the camp is, people on the bus who speak English are like, oh, be careful. There's a, there's a bunch of Syrians there. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go teach them yoga. Stop with your judgment, brah. Or the other thing that's different is what to wear. So before I was able to wear yoga pants, I was able to wear jeans. Here, I'm supposed to be wearing loosely fitting clothing. The only loosely fitting clothing I have are these sweet pajama pants that are for pajamas that are for sleeping. I'm not supposed to wear a tank top, so I just look like I'm going to bed every single day when I get there. It's fine, it's really fine. I just feel like I'm in my pajamas all the time. Which I guess is the worst thing. At the other place in Athens, I was staying with a family and they made me dinner every single night and made sure that I got fed. Here, I not only have to feed myself, we don't have a fridge or an oven, so we're going out to eat for every meal. And if you've ever had to go out to eat for every meal, you know the pounds start to stay a little bit more. In Athens, I was walking three miles a day. Here I'm not. And I'm eating out a lot. Uh, the other day, we were walking down the street looking for breakfast, and I was like, this is such a cool hole in the wall, let's go to this place. And Audrey was like, yeah, well, I mean, we can. And I was like, this is awesome, it's a bunch of old guys, they hardly speak our language, this is so authentic, yeah. They're like, do you want an omelet? Omelet's great. Feta? Yeah. Sausage? Whatever you're having, that's what I want. I'm not even really sure how they made that. It was just, there was a little bit of eggs and a lot of bit of oil. Like, so much oil. Audrey was like, I can't. At one point, I was holding my fork waiting for another bite and there was oil dripping off of my fork. But I finished it. And they charged just 11 euro. I was thinking, this cool hole in the wall. It's gonna be like $2, $3 tops. 11 euro. We go down to this cafe. We actually call it the cafe. I'm not even really sure what it's called. We go get Fredo Espresso. It's like probably the Greek word that I learned the fastest because it just means iced coffee. It's like a very Greek thing. They have this special cup with this little dome lid and the straw and it's, it's a thing. But it means iced espresso, like not American coffee. So every time I talk to my sister at home who's like, I'm going to Starbucks, I'm like, must be nice to drink a gallon of coffee. Because here, the little espresso, you're done, so you can't like enjoy the whole bowl of coffee, but you still get amped on life just from that little bit, so you can't have more and it's just, it's a tricky thing. Can't wait for a... Uh, watered down American coffee so that I can just drink a lot of it. That's all I have to say. Oh, that's not all I have to say about that. The cafe. There's this guy. There. He, uh, he's my cafe boyfriend. He does know my YouTube channel, but he doesn't speak enough English, I hope, to watch this. If you're watching, hey. It's getting pretty serious. He gave me a keychain. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I leave to Santorini. Maybe he'll come with me to Santorini? We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, Audrey's teaching English, which I help with sometimes. Now my new role, in case you didn't hear that. Audrey's teaching English, which I help with sometimes. Now my new role, her little dowdy fart noise that she just made. <laughs> that was her saying, I don't help her with English. You know when you're with new people, and you're trying to figure out what each person's role is and how they're all gonna work together and what's gonna go on. Well, Audrey's role was English. And I was like, trying to help her, giving ideas. Every time I'd give her an idea, she'd kind of like look away and be like, yeah. I was like, no, she didn't like that. So I stopped giving her ideas. And then I think it went the other way where she's like, well, this girl doesn't help me at all. Girl, I tried to help you and you lost eye contact with me and said, yeah. So I stopped giving you ideas. So that's why I'm not helping you anymore. <laughs>
I think Ola recognized what was happening, so he was like, Shayla, you know what? You make great videos. And I was like, so you should be the video maker. And I was like, done and done. Audrey, English is yours. <laughs> I'm making the videos. The camera died. Let's see if I can set this down. The camera died in the middle of the last filming. But now we're on our way to go to the bus, so I changed my outfit. I, they call me the CIA because I'm always asking questions like, when are we going to the bus? What time are we doing this? What are we doing today? What are we... Questions about everything. Like, like, why does that person have his music on so loud? Just like to know, you know? They have made fun of me enough that I've decided that I'm just gonna not ask questions anymore. So, that's my new prerogative. I'm really trying, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, so we are about to head off to the bus. If you like this video, please like this video. If it's your first time here, please subscribe, and I will talk to you all next week. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>